guys, this is Matthias Kenteri. I'm a professional musician here in Nashville, Tennessee, where playing hot chicken picking music is the only way to survive. And today I want to show you guys some fast runs over different chords using open strings. And this is super useful when you're playing country. Also, um, I want to show you this new guitar strap that I got from Lakato. Uh, it's got a, this cool little pocket here where you can uh, fit some uh, guitar picks. It comes with these rubber rings uh, to keep it locked in place. And uh, if you guys like it, I'll leave a link in the description where you can uh, check out. They got some other uh, cool stuff too. They got guitar pedals, uh, accessories and stuff. So uh, yeah, check that out. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first one I want to show you is over the E chord. And uh, I'm not going to get too deep in explaining the scales I'm using and stuff. But make sure you guys check out the previous videos that I have. I also, I, I got a playlist uh, with a bunch of free lessons and uh, you find stuff about major pentatonics, uh, uh, mixing major and minor pentatonics and mixolydian scale and that's pretty much what's going on here. Also, if you want to learn more, I, I got some links for you in the description uh, to my instructional videos. And uh, so yeah, let's just get to it. So the first one, we're going to start here on the on the major third of the E chord, which is a G sharp, so. The second one is gonna be over the A chord. Third one is going to be over the D chord. one's over the G chord. Sometimes you're improvising and you're trying to fit one of those licks into a solo and you got to be able to stretch it if you have to because sometimes you have more space to fill so one thing that i like to practice once once i come up with these types of runs is um just stopping at a certain spot and repeat a certain pattern to make it longer so i'll give you an example so our uh, original run uh, over the e chord was this <laughs> Well, if I want to make it longer, I can stop at this spot right here, which is just what I chose to do in this case, but you can you can try different things. So and then it becomes something like this. If we do that over the A chord, we can do that was the original run, but we can uh, stretch it and make it uh, like this. Same over D. It's always um, important to learn those runs, but also be able to create variations of them. That way uh, you'll be able to fit it 
into uh, different situations and and make the most out of it really so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time